It is World Cancer Day. A new report says breast cancer is now the most commonly diagnosed cancer in the world. The American Cancer Society says that female breast cancer accounted for an estimated 11.7% of new cases in 2020. Breast cancer surpassed lung cancer, which had 11.7%. 0.4%, followed by 10% for colorectal cancer, 7 for prostate, and 5% for stomach cancer. And on this World Cancer Day, we are learning about a new way to battle the disease. A key element to Moderna and Pfizer vaccines could actually make testing cancer an easy and simple skin injection. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez has more on that. The three main types of skin cancer, basal cell, squamous cell, and melanoma, combined are by far the most common cancers in the world. Usually it's only melanoma that can be fatal, but all three often require surgery or electrocautery to remove and hopefully cure. Depending on the cancer's location, such as the face, that can leave disfiguring scars, but... If we can treat that with simple injection, in the time it might take, for example, to numb up a lesion for surgical excision, there's the potential to have it already have been treated. That's exactly what dermatologists Dr. Michael Girardi and colleagues at Yale have just published, a way to inject a cancer treatment directly into skin tumors. The secret is tiny biodegradable nanoparticles that stick to the surface of the cancer cells and to the glue that holds the tumor together, and they stay there. Under the microscope, you can see the nanoparticles in white and red surrounding the cancer cells and being ingested into the cells. The nanoparticles have been loaded with cancer-killing chemotherapy that's released just into the tumor. The medicine would still be inside the patient uh, in that skin cancer as we've delivered it, and so it would, it would be utilized over a period of weeks uh, to treat the tumor. Better yet, the sticky particles can also be loaded with drugs that stimulate the immune system to also attack the cancer. In theory, this approach could be used against any cancer that you can stick a needle into, but it's only been done in animals so far. Clinical trials in humans are being planned. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. Dr. Max also says that it will probably be a few years before the nanoparticle injections are tested and ready for use in humans.